Analysts have said that the presence of American F-35 Lightning II at the Aero India 2023 carries more than just symbolism, and that it aims to lure India away from Russian influence, especially the Su-57 stealth fighter jet. The defense attaché at the U.S. Embassy in India has said that decisions on whether India wants to procure F-35 fifth-generation fighter jet are at a very early stage. Analysts have said that the US will do everything possible to win the MRFA tender, because it will grab a major share of Russian influence in India. Meanwhile, retired Indian Air Force officials have said that maintenance costs is a major hurdle for India to operate the F-35, and technologically, the F-35 will not meet India's requirements. During the visit of German Chancellor to New Delhi this week, the German side will push for the government-to-government -government route for joint manufacturing of six advanced conventional submarines for the Indian Navy under Project 75I. Germany's Disencrypt Marine Systems has chosen to go ahead on the contract with Mazagin Dock Limited, and has put a stop to long negotiations it held with Larsen and Tubro. German industry officials have said that the only practical way ahead is to go for a government-to-government -government route. That will provide flexibility to both the Indian shipyard and the foreign vendor to negotiate terms and conditions. South Korean shipyard Duwoo Shipbuilding is facing a legal challenge from Germany's disencrypt marine systems, which contends that its submarine design has been copied, that could effectively leave Germany as the sole contender for the contract. Bharat Electronics Limited had signed a licensing agreement with DRDO for transfer of technology of Druti Digital Radar Warning Receiver for production in November 2022. It was reported at the recently concluded Aero India 2023 that 129 units of Druti Radar Warning Receiver has been cleared for production, and Su-30 fighter jets of the Indian Air Force have started getting the Digital Radar Warning Receiver as part of the Phase 1 Super Shukhoi upgrade package. The Indian Army has released an expression of interest for procurement of 80,000 ballistic helmets under Make 2 category, that will provide protection against 7.62 by 39 mm mild steel cord bullets. It must have a minimum of 50% indigenous content, and 35,956 will be normal helmets, and remaining 42,044 will be commander's helmet, that will include a communication headset assembly to enable compatibility with in-service radio sets of infantry for hands-free communication. Hindustan Aeronautics had showcased a scale model of our UAV-200 rotary unmanned aerial vehicle at the Aero India, that showed a much refined and redesigned fundamental structure for improved high-altitude operations. As per media reports, the testing of the engine for the RUAV-200 has progressed well, and fabrication of the rotary unmanned aerial vehicle is presently taking place, which is expected to conduct its first flight later this year. At a time when the DRDO and Larsen and Tubro are all set to roll out the first prototype of the indigenous light tank in April, Russia's Rosborough Export has said, that the Sprout STM-1 light tank can be implemented in India within the framework of a large-scale program of Russian-Indian technological cooperation. Russia is keen to demonstrate the technical features of the tank, and carry out a demonstration of the tank in India, for which it is waiting for the Indian response to its offer. India's ICOM Tel Limited has signed a partnership and licensing agreement with UAE-based Caracal, under which the Indian firm will locally manufacture Caracal's complete line of small arms for the Indian market, under the Make in India initiative, including the modern CMP-9 submachine gun, Car 814, Car 816 and Car 817 tactical rifles, Car 817 DMR tactical sniper rifle, CSR-50 anti-material sniper rifle and other products.